In a world of shills and unreliable movie reviews, it's hard to find the truth before investing your time into a film. So now we're going to judge who's telling the truth or who's out of touch with reality. It's time. To review the critics. 30 years ago, audiences were asked to strap in and hold on tight as we went for the ride of our lives in a bus that couldn't go under 50 miles per hour, or else it would explode, and everyone on board would die bloody, fiery deaths, spilling carnage and body parts all over the streets of LA. Policia! Okay, there's not that much actual violence in 1994's speed, but that's the threat anyway. From the director who would soon bring us Twister, then Speed 2, Cruise Control, The Haunting, and finally Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, The Cradle of Life. He really cruised downhill after only two great movies, didn't he? Comes the movie that every schoolboy either bragged about seeing or lied about seeing to make it seem like they'd just watched the biggest R-rated movie ever. But if Steven C. heard any child talking about speed, he'd hit the roof. And we all still think it's only rated R because of the decapitation scene at the end, right? Speed, as you know, stars Keanu Reeves, Dennis Hopper, Sandra Bullock, and Jeff Daniels. On Rotten Tomatoes, it has an impressive critic score of 95% while only 77% of audiences recognized it as one of the greatest action movies of all time. The critics reviewed Speed. Now let's review the 5% of critics who didn't like it. Hal Hinson from Washington Post gave Speed a rotten tomato, saying, Undeniably, the picture now and again supplies that edge-of-the-seat sensation. Yet by action-adventure standards, Speed is leaden and strangely pokey. It never seems to shift into overdrive and let fly. Even he admits that Speed contains suspense, which is the highest compliment you can give any action-adventure movie. As for it being leaden and pokey, I think what happened is that on his way home from watching Speed, he swerved out of the way of a metallic porcupine and got that unfortunate incident mixed up with the movie when he sat down to write his review. What the heck is this? Because leaden means slow and pokey means annoying. Speed, as you well know, is anything but slow and annoying. Dragon Antilov says that Speed is a really entertaining film full of breathtaking stunts, explosions, chases, and other spectacular actions. Unfortunately, those qualities seem to wear off on the second viewing. As a movie critic, you cannot judge a film based on anything other than your first viewing. You're supposed to go with your gut instinct. That's like saying, Fight Club was a great movie. It had me absorbed in the characters and was a tightly written script except that the second time through I knew Tyler Durden was made up, so I'm giving the movie an F. Dessen Thompson from Washington Post says, The plot becomes so overextended, as Reeves and Hopper wage their endless public transportation battle, even the hardest dieharders will consider leaping off way before the final stop. Um, hindsight and popular opinion ought to caution Dessen to stick with critiquing what's in front of him instead of trying to predict the future or speaking on behalf of anyone else. Many would argue that speed is more diehard than diehard. I didn't say it. Nico F. did. Tom Charity from Time Out clearly missed the point of speed. He says, eventually it goes too far, nailed it, or too fast, nailed it, and ends up off the rails, nailed it. I'm just failing to see why those qualities merited a negative score from Tom. And now it's time for the most honest review. In this video, we want to take a moment to recognize a critic from Urban Cinephile. This person wrote, For sheer thrills and excitement, few films can touch speed. Well put. And for this video, we found a bonus critic from the audience named Daniel K. He gave speed just one out of five stars saying, Paul Rudd was not in this movie. I think we know who's on Daniel's hall pass. Come back tomorrow when we review what the critics have to say about Twister. Review the Critics is a brand new channel, so please help us grow. You can do that by checking out some of our other videos and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share RTC so we can keep on bashing idiot critics who have no idea what they're talking about. Also, what's your favorite 90s action movie? Let us know in the comments below.